During the design and construction process, we knew that we didn't want the typical results at the end of the job where we got a truckload of drawings and spec books and manuals that would just fill up a room and be very hard for our folks to go through. So we were looking to take our building information models and all of the 3D modeling we had done during the project and bring that into the ownership realm. I'm Adam Troidel, Construction Manager with Maine General Medical Center. We completed the Alphonse Center for Health in late 2013. It's a 640,000 square foot new regional hospital here in Augusta, Maine. Uh, we have 192 inpatient beds. We used integrated project delivery with a very large team on this project. That included Robinson Morton and H.P. Cummings on the general contracting side, SMRT and TRO Jung Brannan on the architecture and engineering design, and then UBIM as our BIM to FM partner. The UBIM team was great to work with. We had a number of different data sources, both in 3D models and in equipment data that we had to integrate and bring together. We had up to 10 modeling softwares from Revit for architectural and structural, AutoCAD MEP, and then a variety of other fabrication softwares that the contractors use. So we needed to bring all those together and then capture all of the data that was either in the models or in spreadsheets or handwritten in some cases, pull all that into one final model in UBIM so that we have one viewer that our guys can look at uh, that seems to them like it's a seamless, you know, one source product. We wanted a 3D viewer so we could dispense with the drawing portion of that and then we also wanted to integrate that with our asset management system so we could track work orders and maintenance histories of all the items within the building. So we went with UBIM and their team. Very easy to use solution we felt would be able to go out to our frontline staff and get in the hands of the, the electricians, the mechanics, the plumbers, actually use at the point of work and save a lot of steps from going back and looking at those paper documents in the old way bring things out into the field digitally so they can view everything in the building in 3D as well as look up the assets. We expect with this system to really increase efficiency and you know therefore save operational dollars. So based on the national study data normalized to this size of building that we have here, we expect to save anywhere between $185,000 and $225,000 a year. And that'll also really be borne out in the efficiency of the staff. So we'll be able to do more with less staff in this large building. A good example would be someone, a tech going out into the field looking at say an air handler in the field and then needing to look up the performance data for that. So the air handler for us is just one asset but it's obviously comprised of many parts and sections so they can go and look into the owner manual right online, um, see the PDF of that and review the maintenance history of that item. Now that we have the 3D models and all of the BIM data tied into our asset management system and all of that's integrated, our next step is to try to bring in the building controls information and have the building management system populate live in the 3D viewer so that we can see that live performance data along with all of our asset records in the 3D model.